Miami. It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. To me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. Hey, it's my residence. Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know where we'd be spending our weekend. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Don't want to waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry. Out on the water. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. Yeah, we are. Happy Saturday morning. Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show is on the radio. 16th year and change, baby. Come on in, Joe Hector, my partner in crime. How volume, are you? Volume, volume. Turn your volume down. All right. Already screwed up the show in the first 10 Jeez. seconds of it. If it wasn't a mistake in a show, it wouldn't be the show, okay? <laughs> Something only happens and it did. Hello. Hello, Joe. How are you, buddy? Swell. How Sweet. Are you? you spilled coffee on your white uh, muscle shirt there, buddy. I wear white, yeah. and I never wear white. Right. And what do I do? Yeah, you really look like crap. That's just not too well. Yeah. Either. Come on, man. That's not nice. Come he doesn't look that. Come on. I, yeah. You can't even see it here. Be a hater, man. Steve and J. Gray, good morning. You crazy, man. How are good you? Good morning. Happy Saturday, guys. I just wanted to say, um, you know, it's always a blast doing the show with you guys. Yeah. And, and always love opening that Nautical Ventures uh, toy chest. Got a and, fun oh, one today, man. Oh, oh my happy. goodness. Yeah. We got a super, another badass super toy coming up later on. Think about that for Mom's Day as a gift. This is going to be badass. You're right about that. Uh, I think the submarine last week is a better gift for mom. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, you might ask yourself why I'm wearing this eyeball fish shirt again. I thought you yeah. might bring it up, so I thought it'd just steal your thunder a little bit. Well, yeah. So when I bought this off of Amazon, it came in a three-pack, okay? And every okay. fish is supposed to be different. Okay. Now I'm get my money's worth and wear every one of my cans, so this is version number two, all right? Okay. So it's the same eyeball, but a different fish. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem too excited about it. But no, anyway. it's okay. I didn't get that I out like of the way, it. all right? No, it's cool. Uh, I fished this week on Danny Ramos's boat. How, how'd that go? Uh, we went eight hours with no swordfish. But you got mahi. We did on the way in, yeah. Yeah. But uh, eight hours watching a rod tip but do nothing is uh, quite, quite the <laughs> test of patience. Not bro. bites or anything? He had the best baits out there, man. He had everything right. The weather conditions were right out of the north. Wind was blowing. It was We were drifting great. But uh, nothing was biting. And we checked the radio. Nobody was catching fish. Uh, so it's just one of those days where it wasn't happening. Yeah. You were on the water. That's and why. I, I invited Joe to go. Joe couldn't go. He had clients to deal with, which yeah. I understand. But I did invite my partner in crime to go Thank with you, me. sir. Okay. I appreciate it. Didn't invite Steven because he's on a Channel 7 copter, so he couldn't go. It has right. its ups and downs. It's ups yeah. and downs. There you go. So anyway, that's my story. I'll stick to it. Okay. Right, hey, home. you still caught fish. We caught fish. You went yeah. out with Danny. You still caught fish. Yeah. You got mahi. You brought, you brought home dinner. Yep. So, you know, it's I think winner. that's great. Dinner winner. Dinner winner. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yes. Hey, guys, I got some good news. I don't think we have to deal with any thunderstorms <laughs> this week. Oh, my God. Last weekend show, man, I'm with an umbrella over Nuts. here. It was blowing like a bear, bro. Yeah, but, that was... Uh, uh, oh, was... speaking of that, yeah. what's going on with that fire, Steven? Oh, the Everglades? Yeah, man. Yeah, well, it's that Ash. time of year. Dude, there's ash falling in my pool and like what it's nuts. You talking about yesterday? Uh, we had yeah, we had a lot of uh, folks in Coral Springs and up north in Boca and Palm Beach just got dumped on yeah. with uh, the Everglades fire. It's been happening. So Crazy. It's such a pain in the ash. No kidding. It's oh. huge though. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, you know, Jimbo Thomas is waiting on line number one very patiently Jimbo. for us to shut our face and bring him on. You know what I mean? So we'll zip it and bring him in. What do you think? Jimbo. Jimbo the Shield on line number one. Good morning to you on the Thomas Flyer, Jimbo. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? It's yeah. early as hell, you know, usual thing, man. Red eyes and uh, yeah, doing a show here on the set out, outdoors with some horse dookie out there and stuff. We're good, man. But we're excited. You know why? Why, Joe? Because guys are getting some monster black fins. Who told you that? I little birdie okay. flew around. <laughs> What you, yeah, what well, it's that time day. of the year, yeah. and um, we've been catching them. We had one yesterday. Well, actually, we caught two yesterday. We had one maybe close to 25 pounds. Nice. Okay, the other nice. one was uh, just a fat football, maybe 10 pounds. Okay. But when he bit, I thought it was a 50-pounder with the explosion he had under the bait. But, you know, the trick to catching those black fins is to be able to fish late into the day just before it gets dark. Yep. 
and that's when you're going to see the most of them, although, you know, we catch them throughout the day. So, uh, you know, we've had awesome weather this week. Finally, we had a calm week after beating our brains out for days on end. Yeah. And the fish has been good on top of that. So uh, nothing to, to complain about. Um, and I know Eric was saying he went out there and eight hours with no swordfish and nobody was catching fish. Well, nobody was catching swordfish because we were catching fish. Yeah. And, uh, we've been fishing along the, uh, oh, excuse on the edge me. of the Gulf Stream. Yes. <laughs> Go and, ahead, uh, We've been catch, <laughs> catching our live bait and going out and fishing the edge of the Gulf Stream. And we've been catching a lot of nice kings this week. Not um, the biggest I had this week was about twenty six pounds, which is a nice one, but yeah, not yeah. not a, a giant by any means. There was one uh, roughly forty five pounder caught from another boat at our dock. Same boat they caught the forty five pounder last week, so he's he's got them forty five pounders locked up. Sure, but uh, kingfish, sailfish, the occasional blackfin tuna, and we've been seeing very few dolphin or mahis, but. I have not ventured out deeper than about 300 feet of water. But guess so what I have. Few boats. I know. <laughs> there's, there's been a few other boats going out there, and yeah. you know, some of them are catching a few of them, but from what I heard, that they, they were very small ones and just, just barely legal, which kind of unusual for this time of the year because usually they're pretty good-sized ones. But uh, Mine were gaffers, Jimbo. Everyone was gaffers, yeah. All right. Well, see, really? that's, yeah, I didn't get Everyone. I didn't get your report. I got other reports. I'm jousting with the captain, man. He's the pro, and I'm telling him what I did. Yeah, okay, so what the? I'm just saying, man. I, we ours were gaffers, okay? Jimbo, don't All listen. All right. Well, him, you know, okay? some people gaff little ones, and they call them gaffers. Exactly. I yes. Oh, I see. There you go. Put me down with a smaller gaff. Well, we have to. I have to say. What do you have to say? You sent me a picture. I did. Okay. Right. I would say, I think there was four lined up, and there I were. would say two of them out of the four looked like gaffers. Get some just, la- I'm just get saying. Your, get your eyes LASIK, okay? Just, You're half blind, pal. I'm, okay? I'm just saying. Too many so, years on steroids. Jimbo, don't. Oh, you know, man. No, he didn't. Uh, Jimbo, don't listen to this guy. Hey, what Jimbo well, said. we'll let him have his glory. Yes. You know, yeah, they are all gaffers, big gaffers. <laughs> okay. 40 pounders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, Jimbo, so with the conditions today, I don't see a whole lot of wind blowing. It's settled down it's for the beautiful. last couple of days. Uh, you plan on heading up with the uh, Thomas Flyer crew or what? We are heading out, and we haven't had wind for the last three or four days, so very little kite fishing unless you've got uh, helium balloons, and I don't go through that um, headache. Yeah. But uh, the last couple of days, late in the afternoon, the the wind has picked up where we could get a kite up. Okay. But we've been getting our sailfish bites on the flat lines and our kingfish bites on the flat lines. Hey, Amen. Our, our blackfin tunas came off the kite yesterday afternoon. Hey, guys, real quickly, because I don't want to give people any part of any false information here on this show, Mr. No Wind, uh, Eric, uh, 7 to 12 this afternoon, uh, increasing to fifteen twenty with gusts as high as... Uh, 26 miles per hour. So that's a little bit of wind there, my friend. Yeah, well, fairly. fish in the morning, Stephen, and then let the stuff <laughs> blow out I, know, later, I just, okay? I just want to let our friends watching know that the wind, winds will be picking well, up this weekend. Everybody's so, an authority okay? on this show. Everybody's got their own thing, man. We're all the authority. I got a question. You, me, Wait, him, I got whatever. a question. No, you don't. Uh, Jimbo, Jimbo, how do you? Yeah. Uh, I I've also been I've also been seeing uh, a bunch of cobia being caught, uh, even in like the Miami area. It, have you seen anything? I, I wouldn't call it a bunch, but yes, we've had two cobias in the last week. There you go. Uh, nice. One of them, one of them a keeper, one of them questionable keeper, but we didn't. You know, they're so hard to measure. Yeah, when you know they're flopping around, and I don't want to beat them up. So unless they're obvious keepers, you know, I'm not going to put a, a gaff hole in a one that's questionable. Right. So uh, the other one, we might have been able to stretch them, but it wasn't worth beating them up to see. So we had one that was roughly, I think it was 27 pounds. So it was a decent one. Nice. And nice. the other one, yeah. you know, he he's out there growing still. But yeah, so there have been a couple cobias around. I've you know. Sounds like more up in that Hillsboro uh, areas where they catch a lot more cobias yeah. than what we see. Yeah, it's been but, uh, uh, it's been, been a good mix. Yeah, you know the kingfish have uh, have averaged probably twelve pounds, so they've been fat kings for the most part. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're getting them just flatlining herrings and pilchards. 
Yep. And then uh, you get a sailfish bite thrown in, and then when that wind picks up in the afternoon, we're going to put the kite up and hopefully catch some tunas. All nice. Right. Jim, have a rocking day, man. Good stuff on the show this morning. As always, I appreciate your first uh, being up with us every Saturday for forever and ever. Yeah, man. So thank you, Jimbo. No problem. All right, buddy boy. Thank you so much. Thanks, right, Jimbo. Well, good luck, everybody. You're you too. welcome. Little show tease coming up. We have the Starbright Bucket this hour with the fish trivia question, which I have not thought of. You did one last weekend. I guess it's my turn now, right? Yeah, I mean, I can do another one if no, you I want. No, I can't. No, it's my turn. Oh, okay. So we'll do that. And then uh, we've, got, <laughs> we've got new daddy, uh, Danny Ramos, coming up at 6.30. New 630. daddy, huh? Okay. He's a new daddy. Yeah, the new Who's daddy. New daddy. daddy. The new daddy, Danny. Yes. Okay. Uh, Deb Dale has been catching him some stuff in the keys, so all our caps are got their guns loaded, Ben. Ready? Captain Dale. So during the break, uh, go wash your shirt in Stephen J. Gray's sink, and we'll come back to you right <laughs> oh, here. man. At Fox Sports, Ooh, 940, baby. Five. Good morning. <laughs> South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines to keep their electronics going week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries. The sound of confidence. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Catch more fish with Fishbrine, the world's most popular fishing app. Fishbrine provides the tools you need to fish better, helping you to make bigger and better catches. With over 14 million anglers from around the world, no other fishing app contains as much detailed data as Fishbrine. Find catches, make connections, learn different fishing techniques. Everywhere from your local pond to the middle of the ocean, it's the only fishing app with maps for every body of water, with specific layers for catches, waypoints and depth contours. So start catching more fish with Fishbrine. Join for free at fishbrine.com. Joystick piloting for outboards by Mercury enhances virtually every aspect of boating, delivering ultimate confidence through effortless and intuitive joystick boat control. Mercury's JPO, designed for dual, triple, and quad Verado-powered vessels, allows you to simply and efficiently move your boat in any direction, sideways, diagonally, forward, backward, or even rotate in place. And you can dock or maneuver with confidence in tight spaces despite wind and current. Ask your Mercury dealer about joystick piloting for outboards. When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Necky, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. What's up? I'm seven-time NBA champion. Rob. Hey, you have a little bit of time here, gentlemen, if you want to say good morning to our friends that. and family. We have a lot of good streamers, man. It's time of the morning, so uh, gosh, a lot of folks are up this morning. Karen Kubinak is always first every weekend. Hello. Elon Tauber is up and saying hey. Good morning, Elon. Clara Taylor's watching. Uh, Robert Sylvia is always up watching the show. Ozzy Achoa, your bro. My man. Dave Dalman. Nice. Your, your guy? Yeah. Yeah, a lot, right? of, a lot of guys I know. I know more than you got on my stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we're now we're comparing who's got more friends on the feed uh, than, than each other. Really? Is that, that, uh, that, uh, that petty? Really? Bing! Spock? Spock. Kirk? I'm, I'm Kirk. Kirk. Whatever you are, Jack Wad. Man. I'm Kirk. Hi, everybody on the Facebook stream. You guys are awesome. How you doing this morning? You guys are great. We love you. 
have a trivia question coming up this hour for a Starbright Bucket. Ooh, By the way, this really what is cool. it? It's uh, going to be a very easy multiple choice question. What is it? I can tell you, man. <sighs> and then we have this really cool uh, toy chest coming up at uh, 10 to 8. Really? Very neat thing again. Okay. You're listening to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I know everybody says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy me a boat. Powered by Mercury Marine. It can buy me a truck to pull. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. And the fishing buddies everybody needs. Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. You're hooked into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, you are. We're talking during the break about uh, peacock bass, Joe. You said you had some peacock bass info going on, right? Oh, yeah. Guys are catching them around your hood. Big ones, man. Nice. So you can candy as usual. Of course. So candy, my baby. Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah, uh, my one buddy said, uh, now, he didn't weigh it. I don't know. But from the picture... Uh, actually, I'll tell him to send it in. Yeah. He said it was about an eight and a half pounder. He caught it right on a bed. And this fish, I mean, he looks about, you yeah. know, that big. He looks like an eight pounder. Was he a gaffer, Joe? Huh? Was he a gaffer? A gaffer? Well, you were dissing my mahi saying they weren't gaffers in the photo I sent oh. you. I'm asking whether the peacock qualified as a gaffer, okay? Um, yeah. Just size-wise. I'd say so. Okay. Yep. I've never gaffed a peacock, but never will. Okay. Yeah. Just it's saying. It's kind of a weird mix. To kind of come back and counter your BS. Right. Anyway, so the guy the guy who really knows about bass <laughs> is Alan Zaremba. Alan! The guy with the motor issue. I mean, kidding. Alan, how you doing, bro? Good morning to you. My man. <laughs> the, the picture would have weighed five pounds, I'm sure. The picture what? The picture would have weighed five pounds, I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> I know you never over embellish on your photos, man. You show the real deal, man. Those fish in Brazil, Costa Rica, Colombia. You get back here and you show those big uh, three pounders you I, catch. Is that nice? I, I can't. I can't tell you how many people have told me about the fifteen pound peacocks they've caught. Fif- what? Down? You mean down here? Here, of course. Oh boy! They're all, they're all ten to fifteen pounds. They're all huge. Oh, they yeah. show me the pitch and I say, okay. I just I don't even go on from there. <laughs> I just. Uh, why, 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 you know, it was a good fish. Yeah. They're happy. Hey, uh, hey. You know, I, I love the guesstimates. You know, it, 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 uh, what you weigh them with? Oh, oh let me think here. Uh, I didn't have a tail. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Alan, let me tip you off, okay? Uh, Joe Hector uses like 15 different aliases. So you may have seen those coming from him, okay? Yeah. Uh, this is Bill Smith. I got a 16 pounder this week. There. I already know where it's coming from, so no, no problem. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to go at you all day, man. Yeah, I, I it's a rough one. You, you, you pissed me off this, through this, the opening of the show, this man. This cranky pot is going to make this a long yeah, show. Yeah. What happens when he forgets his coffee, We're okay? Have fun today, boy. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So anyway, Alan, back to you, man. You're the star of the show right now. So uh, where are you catching these fish? How big are they? What lure is the usual? You know, well, 10 questions. Well, I, I can't. I can't claim eight and a half pounders, of course. And we don't, you can't forget that half pound, by the way. Uh, but but, but we, we've, been catch, we've been catching some nice fish and, and, uh, and more numbers, of course. And, yeah. and uh, out in the glaze is still the best bet no matter where you go. If you want to catch fish, uh, I got a couple guys that are going to be fly fishing with me today. And they're probably going to catch a bunch of different species of fish. It's still a good t- time to get out in the glades. Uh, and everybody needs to get out there now because this is going to all come to a screeching halt over the next uh, probably couple of weeks as the water starts to come back up again. Yeah. And uh, a lot of these fish are going to start disappearing back into the marsh over the next uh, month or so. And so now's the time, before, and also before it gets too hot. It's, it's already getting pretty warm. Yeah. Well, you've had a pretty good streak, Al. You said the weather's been great for for a while now. The bass bite's been hotter than usual for you know, a little bit longer than usual. So... You're making your clients happy. I've seen the photos. They're all beaming, man. So it's great, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm all about is making them happy, you know. Just like, just like the, no, I'm not going to go there with you. So Yeah, you were. Leave that, leave that alone. You're going to pick on the wives thing. Go ahead. Just go take a shot. Go ahead. Take it. Do, no, it, take it. Never, do it. Never, take never, it. Do it. Take it. Do it. I took my sensitivity course last week. <laughs> and, uh, Come on. Do, be, don't, 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 don't do this. Come yeah. on. Let it out. Right. Let it What's out. What's the guy, Alan, I all used right. to know? That. I want to know what lures were popping this week, man. Don't you? Okay. It was, it was more of a subsurface <laughs> fight this week. It was not as much top water action as I've had the last couple of weeks prior. 
Uh, but but it's still good. I, I had a guy uh, earlier in the week that came out, and he had a uh, what he called a game changer fly. And I got to admit, it was an awesome fly. And, and uh, it had a really deep look when he pulled through the water. It would go about a foot below the surface. Uh, so you could see the strike still. Right. And the peacock were just eating it up. They were really loving it. It has a little, uh, it has a like a back end of it that kind of makes it look like a jerk bait. Nice. And those fish were just chomping all over it. So it, it's, again, it's a great time to get out there and you better do it quick. That's all. Yeah, I can really see a real, a good, uh, uh, I don't know, parody with Joe using a jerk bait. Joe using a well, jerk bait. Yeah. We're, we're not going to go too far with that either, okay? So I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> I counter, will say... Counter I, that one, Pithead. I um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Did Eric, uh, did Eric uh, dementia your problem there, pal, or what? Right. <laughs> huh? uh, no how, thing be necessary. How is the... Uh, <laughs> First of all, Alan, where are you fishing? Get this thought out, man. Will I know. I, well, there's a couple God. rolled into one, but... Jim, out. Um, um, Alan, and, uh, uh, where are you, where are you mainly Ooh. fishing? Because like, I've had actually a couple of my buddies ask, because you're sharing it, and guys are seeing your catches. So they kind of want to know where... You don't have to tell me an exact location, but are you fishing like yes, Ida? I, I, I'm not getting GPS coordinates, but it is in the water. Okay, perfect. That, that's a big help. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Al. Good to know. Good answer, bro, to All that 95-second right. question. That was great, man. All right. You feel satisfied, Joe? Uh, the, sure. The, the, uh, yeah. the truth is, you, you can catch them out just about anywhere out of the glades now. You can go to Holiday Park and catch them. Sawgrass Recreational and catch them. Cool. Uh, across the street from the Finger Canals, on the alley. There's lots of good spots now. Tammy Amy Trail. This is just a great time to get out there. Okay. Awesome. But he's not going to tell you where his fish are you're at, so just remember that. And nor, how, oh, nor how deep they were either at that, that of course. All right, now listen, once you go, man, and do your thing, bro. Hope the Ginu uh, has a great day and you keep that motor strapped on tight. And I will. Thanks, as always, for being uh, on my side. I mean, uh, on the show. Thank you. <laughs> no, no problem. Hey, look, uh, next week in the middle of the week, I've got a day off, and I was thinking about going over to Tootsie's. Are you, are you coming? Well, are we, going, are we going fishing? Where are we going over there? Is there a canal behind well, that, that building? Well, we're, we're, always, we're always fishing. I'm, I'm assuming for next, this is Brandon. Listen, dude, <laughs> it's a family show. You just crossed the line, so goodbye. Abby. Wait, 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 real quick. Alan, um, I got a lot of questions on the Jaguar cichlids. Can you just really, really fast tell me what you use when you fish for them? If you're using fly tackle, small streamers will work great for them. If, you're using, if you want to catch tigers... Or the or the jaguars. You want to, you also on a spin tackle. You can small, small jigs like crappie jigs. Perfect. They'll eat, the, they'll eat them. They eat them up big time. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Good stuff, Al. Okay. Rock on, man. Have, Have a, a great day. Guys. See you, bud. You too. All right, man. Thanks so very much. All right, coming up next, Danny Ramos is on deck. We'll come back with our trivia question about six forty-five for the Starbright Bucket. We've got uh, some big stories. Sean Rolls had a phenomenal week this week, man, on the yes. yak offshore. Yes, he did. He's had quite the story, Mike. Oh yeah, and bro, nice stuff from him. Yeah, double hookups, D everything. Don't tip the, the whole That's jelly it. jar, double, but dibba, yeah. Dibba, dibba. Come back to you right here at six twenty-five at nine forty. Wins Miami Sports, Fox Sports, baby. Live. Bang. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with a sunset cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. 
No outboard moves from zero to top speed quicker than a Mercury V8 300 horsepower Pro XS. Featuring generous displacement and a performance tuned powerhead for industry leading acceleration and top speed. In South Florida, the 300 horsepower Pro XS is perfect for bay and flats boats when you need to cover a lot of water fast. Pro XS simply can't be beat when it comes to performance and reliability. The 300 horsepower Pro XS has everything you need to travel faster, farther, and harder. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, New Motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Tawatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. Anywhere fans go to cheer on their team, there are behind-the-scenes MVPs, ensuring everything is game-day ready. We see you, Joe, fixing the seat so every fan can enjoy every game. And Allie, who keeps her stadium running smoothly from the moment the first game starts to the last play of the season. At Granger, you're our MVPs, and we're always here for you. With supplies and solutions for every industry and 24-7 customer support. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Want to win a thousand bucks? Be ready to spring into action. Think of it as financial load. All right, gentlemen, got some time here. We want to say good morning to our Facebook friends and family. Uh, Nick Brent is coming to Joe's uh, rescue. Says, Joe, you need some uh, body armor I have on today. My man. I don't know if it'll fit you because I wore an extra sh uh, dwarf small, but <laughs> think you may need it for the show today, LOL. Yeah. Thinking that we're probably picking on you a little too much or just uh, having a little fun at your expense. But then again... Thank been, you, Nick. I, I've been the anus of the show many times. You've been the what? I've been the uh, the penis. I, what I, I've been, oh, did, what you said what? I've been dissed on the show <laughs> a few oh times. Oh, my gosh. Well, this show's gone. Uh, <laughs> we take shots at each other. We will I, not be invited to Disney I anymore. I would say, though, <laughs> that Gray probably gets picked on less than anybody, okay? Because he's behind the glass there. Well, right. Exactly. And he can't be out here on he's set. A, yeah. Getting jabbed like we do, okay? He's literally got a shield. He takes his, yeah, he's behind his shield, takes his shots, but no, he's protected from any kind I of... I call balls and strikes here, okay? As I'm the referee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you are a referee, all right, pal. Yeah, you are. All right, so Eric's asking me back at 940 what the trivia uh, answer might be, so let's think of a trivia question, E.B., real quick. That would help. <laughs> okay. Hey, did you buy like instead of like uh, morning mist, you bought like angry coffee at Seven Eleven? Yeah, he's cranky, huh? Dude, I, I walked into your hood. Man. Whatever. Well, you walked into your your hood hood eleven, and uh, huh? I couldn't find a cup. Number one, and <laughs> the freaking lid didn't fit. You have to pull them. Yeah, they're 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 usually and up then, in the air, I guess, right? Yeah, well, you don't drink coffee, how would you? No, know? I don't. I don't. And, and all these special foo foo creamers weren't around, so I had to use some kind of a half ass, uh, half and half thing. So, so you had half assed angry coffee this morning? Pretty much half assed angry <laughs> coffee. Yeah, I'm, it's spot on, bro. <laughs> oh boy, you said it spot on there, knuckle neck. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So um, trivia question. Let me think of one real quick here. Uh, Why is there? Eric cranky? A, is it <laughs> time of the month? <laughs> <laughs> yes, possible. Yes. B is it for God is coffee or C? All the above. All, All the, above. the above. All the above would be the correct. I answer. think that would be a great one. Yeah. One well, that makes me happy is this big eyeball on my shirt here, man. I'm really I happy. Could tell.
you found the secret spot to get your fishing in. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I want to go fishing. Powered by Mercury Marine. I don't ever want to stop. With Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Anything you want to know about fishing or boating, troll us at 866-801-0940. Holy crap. This is more serious than I thought. Watch the show live on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We'll certainly look forward to that. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, what's well, a good happy Saturday to you? Welcome back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. My good buddy, my bro, Joe Hector. We gave him a couple of shots this morning because we're having some fun. But we all get it, dude. Yeah. I mean, you open up the show with a stained white shirt with coffee all over it. So I, I like can't even see it. Show, Come on. Right? Just no. hating on him this you know morning. I know. Mean? I'm not hating on him, but I'm just making a point. Well, actually, yeah, it's on the shoulder there. He picks yeah. up my attire. I thought I'd just give a little <laughs> shot back in return. That's all. It's okay? just tough love, you know? It's, it's just tough love, right. right. It's tough love. I'm from Jersey. I, you know. I, I mean, know your dad, Richard Hector, beat you with a pipe as a kid. You didn't remember <laughs> tough. You know? Oh, my gosh. You're good, right? Uh, You're good, man. Speaking of that, my dad just tears you apart. Your dad's got some kind of vendetta against me, man. He's picking on my prowlers. Saying yeah, his Mustang's better. I know. He's saying I look older I with know. you than I would with Joe Johnson. He's well, got a thing against you me. You know man. what that means? I don't know what the hell it means. She actually likes you. Oh, that's the test. I passed the test. Yeah. The I hate Eric test. Yeah. Nice, Richard. I'm so you. glad to make it into your family circle, bro. You've made it. I'm honored, man. You've made it. <laughs> Speaking of family, he's a family man now, dude. Who? Danny Ramos. Oh! With baby Daniel. Oh, Danny. Danny Jr., man. yeah. I'll tell you, he is in for a ride. It's his first kid, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It it's so is amazing. funny. We're out there fishing Wednesday, and he's checking back in with the wife every couple minutes to see how the baby's oh, doing. Yeah. And fishing, and doing, he's just multitasking more like crazy. You know what I mean? That's the world he's going to live he's in from now on. <laughs> Danny Ramos. Good morning, brother. My man. He dropped. Oh, he dropped? Oh, dang. Uh-oh. Maybe he was busy changing a diaper. Yep. Okay, there's Delta, and that means that's working. Anyway, so we were out there, and uh, the whole game plan was to go sword fishing that day. He targeted swordfish because these, the winds are just right, seas are just right. It's going to be a banging day. Yeah. Show me some of the pre baits he made, and uh, dude, uh, he is just so prepared. But you can't, you know, you can't wish a fish to bite if they're not there. Hey, it's you that's know? why it's fishing, right? Yeah. Not catching. Not catching, yeah. Yeah. And Jimbo says, we're we're catching, not fishing, so whatever. But yeah. he, he tried our ass off with me for a little bit. Ready to go. I think seven out. I don't know. Well, Danny tell the story. Danny, welcome back to the show there, Danny. What's up, buddy? How's it going, guys? <laughs> hey, bud. How's little Daniel Jr. doing this morning? Is he alive and well and happy and screaming? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, he gave us a good night last night. He slept pretty much through the whole night. What? So- Nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. When man. I left, he hadn't woken me up yet. And when I left, uh, you know, at 5 in the morning, he, he was still asleep. So that was good. <laughs> well, you're the luckiest man on the yeah, planet because, because normally, I don't man, know what yeah. that is. Yeah, they normally stay up all day long and, uh, and oh. whatever, man, or whatever case may be. Anyway, so we had a fish trip yeah. Wednesday. He had planned out this great swordfish trip. We invited Joe on. He couldn't do the trip because he had some clients, whatever. But to talk about that day, and Danny, you tried your hardest, man. It was a hell of a try, yeah. you know? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. No, but that's a, that's a sword fishing game. You know, some days you're on them, and some days, you know, most days, you know, it's hard to get a bite. Yeah. So, but I mean, that's what makes it so hard, and that's what makes it so rewarding when you when you do get that opportunity and you land that fish. Because, I mean, you could have any bait. I mean, I had fresh mahi bellies, oh, yeah, uh, fresh yeah. bonita bellies. I had squid. I mean, I had it all. All my baits swimming good. They come back to the boat as long as they're swimming in a straight line. You know, you got a chance at a fish. So you don't want any of those baits spinning. So, and, and working different columns. I'm hitting the bottom, coming up to 100, 150, 200, to 300, and every single different, level to see if we can find them. Different depths. Yeah, different. Right? Different depths. Yes, yeah, Joe, different, depth. different depths, Joe. I was just, okay. I was just saying. Are you happy, just Joe? Making a depth, point. Okay. That's all. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's just, uh, mm-hmm. that's how oh, it is, man. man. Sword fishing, sword fishing is sword fishing, and, and you got to love being out there in the water in general because it is a waiting game, but. I mean, I've taken a lot of charters where it's like they're giving up. And, I mean, it's just like, oh, my God, they're bored out of their minds. And they're like, ah, oh, we hate it. And then we hook up and we put the fish and go, this is the best day of my life. Uh, 
You know, well, you know. So I'm like, oh yeah, it was just the worst day of your life about uh, you know an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. the fish, right? I got smart, Danny. My sons were busting my chops by the fact I went to the bow and that beautiful uh, 27, I think it is, World Cat. You got 29, whatever the length is. Went to the bow and that yeah. bow cushion, man. I laid down, Joe. Shut my eyes. Got some Z's in between those drops and uh, nice. yeah. Said, yeah. Look at Dad up there, son. Look at Dad up there sleeping, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Were you, uh, were you seasick? Nah, I was just I was tired, man. Were you seasick? I don't get seasick, bro. Ever? Oh, no, no. It was a beautiful Danny. day. It was, a, it was too. Nah, it was a gorgeous yeah. day too. I mean, if you got seasick on that day, then <laughs> You're seriously. it was less than a foot. Yeah, yeah. But it's funny, Danny. We pulled up one of your nice. one of your partners out there was on a, a thirty. Five Donzi, whatever it was, and the older gentleman, yeah. and he had taken the caught a swordfish, Joe, right. and he actually had hacked off the bill and sucking the guttle already. Okay, and, yeah, and oh, right Dan, in front of you guys. Yeah, and Danny was asking, Ugh. you know, in Espanol, you know, what kind of bait you're using? This guy's using an eel on the drop down. An yeah. eel, yes. yeah. People and, use snakes. Yeah, he says that was the, that was the one bite he had gotten, yeah. and 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 it connected. And he fished it deep. Uh, he was down at 1,900 or 2,000 feet. He takes those chances where he goes out real deep. Damn. Normally, generally, when we're sword fishing, we're doing uh, eight, anywhere between 1,800 and in as close as shallow as 1,450. Wow. So when you're fishing 1,950, 2,000 or 1,900 feet, you're fishing a little bit on the deeper end. But you know, he he went ahead. He goes out there pretty much every other day or every day. It, it, it's nice out. He goes out. And he connected. He says, well, yeah, I hadn't gotten a bite or at all. And then about, you know, I think it was around 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So he had been there since the morning. He had hooked up yep. right after when we, we yep. and it was kind of where I, where I first started off. I just I was into the shallower red, but when we first did our first drop in the morning, yeah. mm. that's where he connected, but <laughs> out at 1900 feet. Right. But it's just, but I mean, like he, it literally, and then I tell him, I go, oh, I, he calls me after two. I'm like, man, you see? He goes, are oh, you connected? He goes, like, Danny, we're all doing the same thing. You know, I, I just literally, I got lucky that we're, you know, we all got right. the same bait, yeah. you know, and yep. and it, it's it's strictly that the fish is right by you, or you know, it's nothing different. If your bait looks good, swim straight. He goes, don't hit anything really, yep. as long as it's right by them and they want to they want to eat or you're moving the bait at the time that the fish is like thinking about hitting it. And sure. you know, it's, it's really a timing and uh, a little bit of, you know, luck on your side as, as long as you have your, t uh, your techniques down and all your tackle on point, you know, and right. And that's exactly what it was. Every time we brought up our, our line, no tangles, no nothing. Everything yeah. was perfect every yeah. single time. So that's all you worry about and that you're not losing line when you're dropping. So you don't want to be losing revolution. So you drop and you hit at 2200 you want to stay between 2,200 and no more than like 2,600. You want to always do that. If you're at 3,000 revs, you know that you're doing something wrong and you're driving or, you know, the current, some days could be ripping, but yeah, you know, right. you know that your line is straight up and down. You can justify everything in your head with the number counts that you have that your, your line is, is where it should be. So math. And, uh, and some days it happens, some days it doesn't. Great. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but we ended up catching a few mahi that day. Yeah. I got them in. I know Eric was dying to bend the rod. So I was there like, uh, I got to bend them on something. And we hadn't even seen any birds or nothing. I mean, it was it got desert out there yeah. for us where we didn't run into no, no big seaweed patches, a couple of little scattered patches, but nothing worth to to give it a shot. And, and But I, I kept looking and looking and looking. I'm like, there's got to be something coming up on the way back. And I spotted a pallet. Yeah. I, I go, is that a pallet? I go, oh, look at that. And we stopped on it, but it was a new pallet. So yeah. it didn't have really a lot of barnacles or anything like that. Right. Uh, but there's a bunch of uh, Amico jacks over it. They look like piranhas. They were they really were coming uh, out at it. Man. Yeah. So uh, Sean and him, they were they were pitching their baits and the jigs at them, and nothing. I mean, they they were catching the Amico jacks, but you know, no mahi. And I told uh, Eric, I go, let me grab, let's let, let's drop that thing all the way down. Well, not all the way down, but let it down a couple hundred feet or 150 feet or something like that, yeah. and start start jigging it up. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, I I went ahead and I brought him up from down there and. We were able to get some mahi up at the surface. These yeah. these mahis were down below about yeah. 150 feet. They were yeah, underneath yeah. that pallet. Yep. Wow. So we saw that, we, I was able to get them. Then we saw that one meat. one frigate bird working the top, and uh, we caught one under him. So oh, yeah, that saved the day. Dan. Yeah, we got one under him. The, too. the mahi saved yep. the day. We got some fish to cook up, and you filleted those babies really nice, and handed out a few bags. Matthew and Sean are very happy, and it's really fun too, Joe. As you know, man. Sure. Uh, family fishing is great. When I have a chance to get both my sons on the boat, yeah. which is very very rare. That's awesome. Uh, I only had one this time, but normally if I do get yeah. both, it's great. One's okay. Yeah, but hey. you know, a whole bonding time. You're you're with friends, oh, family. No, it was great. 
You, you, you got some and meat I, on the boat. And I tell you, I've, I've never you seen know? anybody drink more Bud Light than my own kid. <laughs> <laughs> that kid can nail yeah, yeah. a, a twenty-four pack on a trip, man. Like nobody else, he gets off the boat. You, he thought he was drinking coffee. He's like, "Yeah, Dad, it was a great time. We, <laughs> I'm going home now. It's yeah, all good, yeah. you know." So, uh, yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he started he's, early. He, started. <laughs> he handles like a champ, Danny. I'm telling you, man. So, uh, no, he does. I, he does. Yeah, I remember telling you on the phone when he was telling me the story. I was surprised you guys didn't run into like a school of like little black fan or something out something, there. Yeah. Nothing though. Yeah, huh? yeah no, no, no. The birds for some reason, and I thought. I mean, there was no reason why you know. It's not like we had full moon or anything like that for us. Where I'll be like, all right, maybe it's the moon, but it was normal. I, I don't know what it is, or maybe. And they had been catching some fish the days prior, but they probably they probably moved through quick, and then now sure. you know some other fish are starting to move through. So it's kind of in phases, you know. And it was kind of a little bit of the. Kind of a dead zone, and then I, I went ahead and I look at all my captains on IG that day too, and nothing exciting. Well, a couple kings, you know. That's I mean, it was nothing like, uh, you know, it was a beautiful day. So I and everybody was out, you know. So that that was uh, there was, it just wasn't happening that day. But we were able to make it happen with some fish. I mean, we had plenty of fish. Uh, for, and more and some for them to enjoy the dinner and, and put them away. So right. that's all that matters. But as long as we're able to, that's you know, I know bad. Eric doesn't get a lot of time to get out there. So for him to uh, well, bend the rod. Joe, for that matter. <laughs> Joe, Joe can't get a day off. The, the problem is, 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 is here, you know? well, if I can get like a week in advance or more. You or, need more than that, man. I mean, yeah. clients all lined up. He's like, well, the problem is they're all in the morning. You guys are all waiting on you. I start yeah. at 4 a.m. Yeah. So it's it's that's the hard God. part is um, is my clients are mainly in the morning until Who noon. Who in the hell can work out at 4.30 in the morning? I can't even. A lot of people can do. You, can you imagine a lot of that, Danny, do. working out at 4.30 in the morning? Yeah, I can't even think some, of it, sometimes man. Sometimes you got no to. No way. Yeah. We'll, we'll set it up now, too, in these summer days. I won't know that there's going to be some really nice weather. We'll set it up, and then yeah. that way uh, the mahi will be pushing through. So we can go to the sword ground, right. but we'll we'll be banging up some of the mahis on the way out. You know, we'll be you know it'll make the trip a little bit more exciting. Yeah, That's a go. good time assorting in the summer. You're mahi fishing on the way out, and you're mahi fishing on the way back because you're going out twenty yeah. miles out and twenty miles in. So the whole time you do a couple drops in between, but you're also fishing for mahi. So it keeps you more entertained than just going straight out there staring at a rod tip for you know. Eight hours, so okay. it, it makes it a little bit more exciting because you're catching fish in between yeah. uh, these once these mines plus, start pushing through pretty good. Yeah, plus this time of year, dusk fishing is great. Yeah. I mean, that's when you get your big black fin. I remember catching my yeah. first swordfish yeah. at dusk. Well, uh, Danny was saying that day that uh, the afternoon bite to him was going to be better than the morning bite, and it, sure. it did pick up in the afternoon. Yeah. So. Yeah. so if you guys do another after, or if you do yeah. an afternoon or something, yeah, we'll do it. I'm in. Uh -huh. So it seems. Sure. Hey, hey, Gray, are you in for a fishing trip? Heck yeah, man. You'll go? Yes. All right, cool, man. So the three uh, Stooges won't want to be on board <laughs> next time, okay? Danny? Yeah, I'll be man, film. I'll be doing good. some filming, too. Okay. Uh, Danny. Yeah, I, we you, love him. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, that was a great trip. Thanks so much for your time out there, bro. I love you. It's family. I've known you since you are like 10 years old. So watching you grow into yeah. sport and becoming a captain. That. So way to go, bro. That's cool. You Thank coached you, him, too. You used to coach him back in the day, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He was That's a, awesome. He was yeah. a hell of a athlete, I might add, just so you know. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Danny, thank you, bro. Have a great uh, time. And uh, give some love to that Danny Jr. for us, if you would, man. Yeah. Congrats oh again, man. Hey, 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 Danny, real quick. Did, did, when when Eric was coaching you, did he teach you to cheat? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come <laughs> no, on, man. No, no, no. No, he no, I no was, cheating over here. Was he cranky all the time? Cranky? No, no, no. He just always had that deep voice. He sounded professional. <laughs> That made my kids stay in line. You heard he said he right. sounded professional, Joe. Right. Sounded. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Danny, have a great day, bro, on your charter, man. See Hope you, buddy. Here. All right. So we have a Starbright bucket to give away right now. A little wash and wax and cleaner and vinyl protector. All and products probably made in the U.S. of A. Rust remover and you name it, man. Best Everybody's stuff to wanting. clean your boat with in the world. And a lot of guys who finally get these uh, products picked up at Nautical Ventures go later on. They'll text me or you, whatever. Yeah. God, man, that Starbucks stuff really works great. You know, it, it really it's the does. Best. It's the best. It yeah, repels man. the water, gets all the fish juice off the deck, and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, my turn for a trivia question. This is going to be extremely easy, okay? All right, let's do it. Extremely easy. Okay, so the fish I was catching Wednesday was a mahi. They're known by various names, Joe. Oh, boy. A could be mahi, B could be Dorado. C would be dolphin. Or D would be all the above. 
You look at Dad like this is a really big no, question. No, no, it was it's a really great an question. easy question, yes, man. Yes, it's very easy. You guys should get it. You didn't like it because you looked down and you were like pouting at no, me. No, no, I had like, a fly. What a stupid no, question. No, a fly flew in my eye. I was like this. I tried to get it out of my eye. You lie like a rug. My no, friend. really. <laughs> All right, so they're called mahi, dorado, or dolphin. What the hell are these fish called? It's A, B, C, or D. All of the above, okay? Okay. Can I get a so, hit? You want a hit? If you need a hit, man, you should be on this show. <laughs> okay. 866 801 0940 right now. Live. The Fox Sports 940, baby. Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboards are built to power the largest boats for the boldest adventures on the water. Verado's proven supercharged power head delivers pure marine muscle for unequaled whole shot and superior top speed. Yet Verado 400 remains true to its roots, delivering the best overall boating experience with an advanced midsection that virtually eliminates vibration while acoustic engineering on the cowl intake and exhaust minimize sound. Test drive Mercury's 400 horse Verado today. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with a sunset cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. All avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coating and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Of all the multitudinous manifestations that water... A little bit of time here if you want to say hello to anybody. Stream is funny, man. We've got some guys here saying uh, some very cool, funny things. Uh, let's see here. One guy said um, about my shirt, my hoodie, rather. Um, come on, where is it here, man? Eric, you're looking good with a, as a three-eyed cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, bro. Appreciate it. It's weird, though. Your eye would be, like, on your chest. Uh, Albert, uh, we'll give him credit. Albert Skalarski. Skalarski. Yeah, somebody. man. Yeah. He's got some good reports, too, for, like, kayak anglers and stuff. Really? If we ever want to, Is yeah. he a yacker? Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Josh Jandry, good morning, bro. Uh, Nick Brett still doing his thing. Claire <laughs> Taylor. You guys are all great, man. 
Uh, James Williams is watching. I'm not sure where James is Williams is watching from, but thank you, James, very much, my friend. Thank Appreciate you, it. James. That's a quite the classic name. James, I'm James Williams. Yeah, it's like a very... James mm, Williams. Like a royal name. I'm James Williams. Like, I'm James Bond, 007. Yeah. I'm James of. Williams. Talking about Bond, didn't he get an award for something? He did? He did. Roger Moore? He's dead, man. <laughs> Did you hear what he just said? Posthumously, he said Roger Moore. Oh, I thought you were talking about the. We were talking about 007. <laughs> I, oh, my bad. Yes, He's dead. The, the Nautical Ventures CEO did get a major award for. Just screw it up, Eric. I didn't know what you were going with the Roger Moore thing. I keep thinking of two of them, man. What do you, what do you get an award for? It has to do with our. You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Catch all the fish, drink all the beer, anchor down, stay here. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer... Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. So, for the break, the really in-depth question was for the Starbright Bucket. What are Mahi Mahi known, known name-wise? Wow. Mahi... Dolphin, Dorado, or all the above? And I think our winner's on line one, Anthony Leon. Anthony, what's the answer, my friend? Yes, uh, D, all the above. Bingo! Oh! Hey, you did it, bro. That was really tough, Anthony. Good job, Anthony. So, Anthony, my friend, you want a Starbright bucket? Do you have a boat to put it on, or what, man? Um, no, so basically I go fishing with my godmother all the time, and uh, I'm going to give it to her for Mother's Day, so... Oh. <laughs> Wait, wait, Anthony, that's a great gift, man, but here's the thing. It's Mother's Day gift, right? You have to apply this stuff because you're not making mom go out there and do this, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. I always help her out with everything on the boat. So. Awesome. Okay. Cool. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of boat does she have? Uh, she has a pro line. Okay. All right. Nice. And are you a fishing guy, a fishing person yourself, or what? Uh, yes, yeah, so basically since I was six months old, uh, she would actually, I've been on with her since I was that little, so I've been fishing basically my whole life. Wow. So you raising Mia, that young Joe. Yeah, man, I right. love it. Awesome, Anthony. Well, you sound like a great guy to me. You've been a fan of the show for a while or listening for a while or what? Um, so, yeah, so uh, when I started high school, I used to go to work with her because she would drop me off at school. And uh, she would be listening to you all morning, and so hey. now I listen to you guys because you guys give out great tips and stuff. So awesome! We did not pay him for that endorsement, by the way. That no. was straight off off the cuff there, man. Yeah. Anthony, thank you, man. I'll call yeah. you for the show and tell you where your bucket's going to be. Okay, my friend. We appreciate it, Anthony. All right, thank you. Thank you. Great, great guy there, man. Nice guy. Very cool stuff. You tell he's got a big heart. He does, man. Speaking of big heart and big uh, reputation and big legendary catches, it's Bouncer Smith on line number one. Oh. Cap- Good morning, Captain Bouncer. Hey, Captain. Good morning, guys. Hey, listen, I wanted to help you out real quick. Sure. Joe, you want to know where Alan and I caught all those fish last Saturday morning? Boy, where? did we catch them, by the way. Tell uh, me. I went out with Alan Zara, but we were fly <laughs> casting, and it was constant action. You want to know where we were, Joe? Tell me. Tell I me. I do. They're on Alan's boat. <laughs> <laughs> that won't give me no help, Joe. There's a, he's on Alan's boat. Yeah. Well, that secret's still safe. Oh, man. <laughs> well, Can I just get a the little... The matter is, if you, if you really want to know where Alan's fishing, everybody can use another charter, so... Uh, Very true. Yeah. Very you true. Know, even when I was in business uh, fishing every day, I would go on a charter boat in other locations... And learn new tricks. I yep. mean, we can all learn new things. And, Definitely. And there's no quicker way to learn an area than to hire a guide. It's a really good way to step up your game. Another good thing is uh, we've always preached is uh, use a local tackle shop. Yeah. Because that guy will know where the dolphin were biting. Uh, he'll know what they were biting. Uh, he'll be able to put a tip on your rod. You go to a big box store. 
store, it's a little harder to do. Uh, so that's another good way to improve your fishing. Hey, Bouncer, then, did uh, you go on uh, Alan's uh, uh, Ginu when you f- went fishing with him? No, I'm not a Ginu man. I, I think I'm <laughs> above the weight capacity for that. But we were talking about the Ginu, and Alan really, really loves it. He says that for fishing for himself, that's all he wants to use is a Ginu because he can get where the other boats can't get. But that's right, yeah. We were on his really nice, uh, on his center console slash bass boat. And really had a really good time. That's I, great, I man. That's great. That's awesome. great, Cap. Are you uh, in, in local uh, waters or are you back at home in Georgia? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm taking a beautiful break. I'm up here in uh, Marietta, Georgia, and the high today is 68 degrees wow. and sunny. Uh, yesterday, we were supposed to have severely bad weather, mm-hmm. and we never got a drop of rain, but we did have some really strong winds. Nowhere near as bad as they forecast, so we got lucky, and the weather went to the north of us, but uh, going to have a beautiful weekend, and then after the weekend, when the wind lays down a little bit, because over in uh, the Carolinas right now, the coastal waters, the winds are blowing 25, but when they lay down, I'm going to go over there for a few days and try to get on some of their grouper fishing, Yeah, because yeah. Sunday we went grouper fishing in Miami. Mm-hmm. And and grouper fishing was really slow. Uh, Wayne Conn caught two red groupers all day right. that I know of, and we went all day, and uh, we don't think we had a grouper bite the whole day. It was it was really sad. <laughs> I figured, the day yeah. the, the day before the season opened, my buddy was trolling the reef, and he caught a fifteen pounder and a thirty pounder, <laughs> and you know, and uh, wow. we yeah. go the next day. And we don't get a bite. It was really crazy. So. Well, we'll see you down soon, Cap. Thanks so much again, as always, for getting up with us and being the legend you are and and doing what you do, man. We'll see you soon. It's always good talking to you guys. Like I said, if you need some tips on where to fish, hire a guide or go to a local tackle shop. It'll help you a lot. Definitely. You got it. Thanks, Cap. Thank you, Cap. Sean Rolls on line number two. But before we have to hit the break, I want to hear about a story on a Yakka this week uh, with a double sail hookup, I believe it was, Joe. Oh, yeah. I saw Your that man. on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Sean, good morning, brother. Good morning, guys. What's going on? Tell me about that experience with hooking up twin sails on a flipping kayak, man. Yeah. Um, it's quite an adrenaline rush, to say the least. And, <laughs> God. And uh, it, it was one of the cooler hookups I had because they both hit at the same time, both jumped at the same time, and spread apart just like they should, and had a good opportunity to land both of them. It's awesome. That's great. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't land both of them, though, but... It's all right. You got one, and then you I, also got a black yeah. fin, right? Yeah, I saw the... Yeah, the, yeah a couple... There's a couple black fin out there. The yeah. black fin are in, like, 350 feet. Okay. Um, I had a selfish bite in the morning in 80 feet, actually, which jumped right off. Wow. And the two that hooked up, I was in... 300 feet, believe it or not. What? Damn, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was, I was hoping for one of those big mahis like you caught, Eric. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sean, for validating my gaffer mahi, okay? Um, they would diss me all was, show about he was, that. He was being No, sarcastic. he was not being sarcastic. He was actually being I, sincere, okay? I know, Sean. I can yeah, feel it in his voice, sincere. man. Okay. Okay? I can right. hear it in his voice, Joe. Hey, man. At least you got out there fishing. That's more than joking. Oh, no, I knew you were going to do oh, that. Oh, you mean like no show Joe. Thank you, Sean. Oh, You're the man, bro. That's man. awesome. So, uh, Thanks, friend. That's a great day, man. Seriously, though. Double hookup on sales. Yeah, no, and catching it was, tuna. It was well needed, you know. God, what a day, man. I got Especially being in a kayak. I, just, I have not done that yet, Joe. I got to get out And there. I can't fathom what it's like to be out there with like, chaos going on. It's you know? great, man. There's Damn. nothing like it. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Sean, really seriously, props to you, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're you're so much more in tune with the the fish, the bite. You can literally like feel the bite when it happens. You know, through the, right, the vibration through the kayak and stuff. It's yeah, it's a whole different experience. Yeah, I guess the sharks. Uh, you kind of feel their vibration when they swim by the boat a little bit, or or not. They really not. It's not bad. No. like people think it really isn't. No. Hey, Sean's picks are up. By the way, that you sent me, Eric, uh, of the fish that he caught this week. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, Sean. Uh, so no boating time. Just all kayak fishing for you. Uh, I'm in the boat right now, as we speak. Oh, there you go, man. My man. And you're looking for what yeah. today? I'm, I'm guessing grouper season in town. What do you think about grouper? Uh, uh, I'm going to troll around a little bit here. Hopefully, catch, you know, Mr. Wahoo's my 
target species, as always. They're getting some big uh, man, uh, jumbo blackfin. You saw Doug with his? Yeah. Yeah, up in Boynton, the bite was really good. Yeah. So I'm going to stay south, though. There's a couple of tournaments going on. So up north, it was going to be pretty packed. I'm going to okay. give the courtesy of those guys fishing for money. Okay. So, All right. Cool. Well, Sean, props to you, man, for another great report. I love your Instagram stuff. I'm not sure. What's your, your handle on Instagram? How people find you? Uh, uh, Sean Rolls. That makes so much sense. It's amazing, yeah, Eric. Perfect. <laughs> Sean Rolls. That's it, man. <laughs> I was dumb by it, man. Yeah, Sean Rolls on Instagram. How easy. Sean, great stuff, yep. man. Great report as always. We hope you hook up today and uh, do it up, dude, because you are but, crazy great. And by the way, Sean, I got my Instagram back, so yeah, we're set. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're ready to rock. All right. Man. All right, Sean. Tear them up, man. Have a great day, buddy. All right, thanks, guys. See you later. All right, take a little break here. Joe, come back with a big 7 o'clock hour. It's going to be action-packed. George Clark Jr. standing by on deck. We've got uh, Norm Beckoff on the show coming up. Jen with the forecast. Nice. Deb Deo, who's got that beautiful big boat splashed, I might add. Damn it. Which you couldn't stand last weekend. What are you calling it splashed, bro? How about, I don't know, you launched or something, whatever you're Is that thing. how I sound to you? Okay, like, Mr. Uh... Angry, it's time to break. <laughs> time to break here. Okay, Fox Sports, <laughs> Thank you. 940 now. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht-grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, new motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Toatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. There's a little secret shared by all 21 million of us who live here in Florida. We live in paradise, especially when we're out on the water all year round. So let's stay safe, Florida, and develop a life jacket habit. Always wear your life jacket as we rediscover the joy of being out on the water. Keep yourself safe. Keep your family safe. Enjoy the water and wear a life jacket. For more information, visit myfwc.com. That's myfwc.com. Life jackets save lives. Wear it, Florida. New on Curiosity Stream. Can you- Hi, a little time if you want to say good morning to anybody there. Well, okay, we'll we, do that there, Mr. Director. We Thank saw you, you stretching out there and uh, stretching my on the uh, water and exercising my fingers. Looks like you had gas as well. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't actually rip one by your pond over there. Uh, yeah, I, we had we filmed you doing that. I thought oh, that I was going to add sound effects. <laughs> wait, wait till you see the playback. You're going to be dying. Such a jerk, wide man. Cammy Lynn, what's up, man? Ah, uh, okay, we get no answer from George Clark. That's not very good. Uh, b- 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 Albert, Ozzy, Bill Pate. What's up, Bill? Doing his thing. 
So, a good bunch of streamers. Thank you guys very much for being on the show and uh, get up with us every Saturday morning when you could be in bed sleeping. You get up and hang with us, and we really appreciate that very much at the Gray Ranch. And I think Joe's already stepped on a, a penny gift uh, with his flip flops. Did you have to show me that, man? Really, dude? Seriously? Hey, guys. You sprinkled on your freaking workout shorts. No, I dude. didn't. You just showed me. I was a, just showing you a new you showed, patch showed, I just put on the. You showed me a spot, man. Oh, ain't that beautiful? It's Day fishing's a beautiful day. Now back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine, and brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Now here's your fishing buddies, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Yeah, welcome back to the big show, hour number two here, the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. My great, great friend, Joe Workout Badass Hector. I like that. Is that a good intro for that you, was man? Great. Came to the show this morning, and they had a little faux pas first off. He spilled some coffee in his all-white shirt, which he which never I wears. Which I never white. wear. Never wear, because obviously he must spill a lot of coffee on your darker clothing. Look at this. But uh, I didn't really show too much on my camera. You're okay, man. Yeah, it's all right. I've got this big uh, nailing mark on my face. I don't know what that did. Yeah, myself. what happened to you, man? I don't know. I was digging something. I had like an undergrown thing and whatever, man. I was digging at it. And you hit an undergrown... <laughs> no, I was picking at my face, man. There was something growing in there, like an old zit or something. I don't know what it was. So you hit an undergrown thing and then you picked it... was under it. the skin. It was subcutaneous. Gotcha. Okay. So it was a fairly moderate concoction. Yeah, I was using a, a tip of a, uh, of a uh, paper clip to dig it out. What's with you and those paper clips, They're man? my buddies, man. I stick you them dig in my it ears. in your ear? Yeah. All what? Kind of, all kinds of uses for paper when, clips. Dangerous. When you were doing that, Eric, were you like nibbling on sponge cake and watching the sun bake? Uh, I do a lot of body maintenance under the influence of alcohol, just so you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> it works out. Hey, by the way, I've noticed you've been putting up more fish, uh, more uh, pictures of you fishing at, at the home and then the lake as well too. How's the lake fishing going? It's been great. Lake Catherine, where I live, uh, we had that sewage thing that happened to us right? about a month and a half ago, and that's kind of cleared out a little bit. The water's getting back to its normal blue color. Yeah, and I'm seeing peacock uh, bedding up, which is great. That's good. And they was slamming that uh, live target lure I've been using. So uh, fishing's pretty hot in the old Branded Lake, man. You know, I'm surprised that they're. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but is there like some really big peacocks in there? Because I haven't really... I see the schools coming through. I'm afraid to tell you what size there, because you're going to say to me, no, Eric, it's not an eight-pounder, okay? No, you no, have picks, though. You I, do have I, picks. I have just, caught, just guesstimate. I have caught legitimate six-pounders pretty regularly, okay? With a okay. Big, with I a, believe you. With that big-ass knot on the, yeah. on the head. That's the male, obviously. Right. So uh, there's some big fish in there I've caught. We've got uh, carp in that lake. Paku. Big, big ass carp. The Paku, which that's the story insane. itself. These things are fifty five pounders at least. No way. I yeah. caught one on a hot dog, no less. And it probably the, the greatest fresh, freshwater battle of my life was that Paku. I got to tell you, man. Nothing. You got to tell the people that don't know what they are because they're not from here. So they're a uh, actually American. a re relative of, uh, of the Piranha yeah, family. Amazon. Okay. Yeah. And uh, somebody let those go in a lake years ago, obviously, like they always do. Yeah. I've got koi in my lake now, as you've seen, Joe. Right? Awesome. Which are beautiful. You know how much those are worth? And, I don't know, but they're gorgeous, man. My God. And uh, these Paco just get bigger and bigger, and I've lived in that same area for quite some time. Uh, George Clark Jr. is calling the show here. Let me see. Hang on a second. Um, hey, George. How you doing, buddy? You there? All right. Uh, we're trying to reach you back at 940. But anyway, so the Paco are huge, man. I've caught one. There's an elusive uh, batch of three that travel in like a school. And uh, they're an amazing fish to catch, man. Like yeah. you and your red-tailed cat. You yeah. Know, the, all these subspecies and stuff over here. These it's amazing. species are great, man. I, I just think it's... I mean, think about this, too. Those Paco, if you guys do, do like a Google search, yeah. they get... Monstrous. I mean, A C U. Paku, yeah. 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 And um, they also their teeth. Just so people understand, when when you say the piranha, they're kind of a relative. They are. The big difference is well, number one, size, but number two, they are actually they eat like uh, vegetables, plants, yeah. uh, not really meat or anything like that. You catch them on like a bread crumb roll yep. or whatever, yep. uh, and their teeth look like human teeth. They do. So yeah. they they're yeah. flat. Whereas a piranha would, you know, they're made for slicing and dicing. My son, Sean, I just found a, a, trip, a trick. Uh, one of his buddies told him, hey, Sean, try a hot dog, dude, on his pocket. We tried everything else, you know, 
fruit and whatever else. Yeah. The hot dog, buried hook, and the hot dog worked like a charm. Man. Really? George Clark, by the way, is on line one. He had left his ringer off. Oh. Which happens. I do that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Captain George. George. Hey, what's up? You're on the show, man. What's we up, couldn't do a show without you, brother. Good morning, man. No, good morning. Yeah, I, sorry about that. Hey, all right. Hey, stuff happens this time of the morning. Come on, dude. We're all up at some yeah. ungodly hour here, for God's sakes. <laughs> anyway, how you been doing? How's the keys treating yeah. this week, man? Good? Yeah, yeah. Fishing's been good down here. The weather's been nice. Not not too windy. Uh, everybody's been able to get out and do a little bit of fishing. Some nice big mahi are showing up. Guys oh, are nice. getting shots on them, you know, and and uh, some, some fish being caught not too far offshore. You know, a couple hundred feet of water. That's great. Underneath yeah. the nice. Yeah. You know, uh, last week there was a 68-pounder caught in like 150 feet of water. What? You know, so don't pass up. Don't pass up those birds in, in, in the shallows there because they might wow. be on a, a, set of, a set of nice fish. But, um, but yeah, that's been going on. Uh, a few wahoos and stuff out there. You know, not nothing nothing of any size, but, uh, you know, keepable fish and a few blackfin tunas. Still, the sail bite's been good here mm-hmm. in the... Uh, in the upper keys, so uh, you can go out there and actually get on some sails and uh, put put a nice catch together with them. But um, the reef bite's been really good. Oh, right. catch was nice. Uh, yeah, we fished uh, yesterday. We had a group out, and uh, we were catching some really nice mangrove snappers up to about eight pounds. Damn. Oh and, man! Uh, oh man! Those are big fish. Yeah. Those are fat yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, and and, uh, and nice nice keeper muttons. You know, up to about the same size by eight pounds eight nine pounds Oof. and the yellow jacks the bar jacks just they're everywhere so if you're uh if you're not catching anything else and you get on those those are fun to catch yeah and uh every once in a while there'll be a big big jack crevel mixed in there so you know we've been catching these jack crevels up to about 15 pounds All right. and that's been great on the on the light tackle i don't have much to talk about the the inshore bite as far as uh the snook and stuff because I just haven't been doing a lot of that. But I know guys have been getting out there in the Everglades and catching a few. And right, uh, the, the sea trout bite's been pretty good back there. Oh, so man. you know, I, if you're if you're not catching if you're not catching the snook, if the snooker kind of kind of got locked jaw, um, you'll be able to go back there and, and get on some of those nice big sea trout. I gotta say those Jack Crevels, pound for pound. Oh, dude! I, I would say There's they zingers. might even be a, a harder fight. Like a really big one than maybe even a, an amberjack. I, I, that is debatable. Yeah. Those yeah. fish, that was one of the first fish I ever caught when I moved here to South Florida. I caught okay. it on the beach, right? right? Right. And I fought that fish for like almost 20 minutes, man. It was a monster, though. That's because, Joe, you're on the beach with a right? zip, Zebco yeah. with a six pound test lie. What do you expect, dude? <laughs> okay. No, but they think they fight like, <laughs> oof. What do you think, George? I agree. No, I agree with you 100%. I think if you, um, if you took a fish of equal size and tied them tail to tail, they drowned everyone. Yeah, maybe you know except I mean? an amberjack. That'd be I, the only two. I, I don't like amberjacks. I thought you know. that was your favorite. I have a really bad back, and they make it even worse. <laughs> okay, just so you know. Oh yeah, they just <laughs> dig, man. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. can hurt you, man. Well, that's, our, that's our that's our money maker for inshore um, fishing guides here. You know, you get on a school of those and, and let your clients pull on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing that fights as good. And uh, people stick their nose up at them a little bit because they're just, you can't eat them. Right. You know, we don't eat them. We, we catch and release them. But, sure. I mean, as far as a, a fish that's uh, just a great fight, yeah. easy to catch yep. uh, and release. Yep. Yeah. And big. That's why we use cir- circle hooks so that we can, uh, you know, keep the mortality rate down and, and get them in the lip. And they got those rubbery lips so that you can pop that circle hook out, get your picture, get them back in the water, and sure. live to fight another day. I mean, it's just a really good resource for us. Right. And uh, people that don't care what they catch, they just want to have fun fighting the fish. Sure. Uh, we just sit there and chum <laughs> those guys up with a, a bunch of live pilchards and uh, get them going. Nice. And when you get on a big school of those, you can just sit there for a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, George, you know, grouper season's back in force, man. Any, any big fatties down there or what, dude? Yeah, I haven't done any of it. Believe it or not, I uh, I just didn't didn't get around to doing it. We were doing other stuff. So right. um, yeah, we we haven't we haven't seen quite a few uh, grouper caught. Most mostly black groupers. Okay. 
and uh, the guys that have been out there going after them have, have definitely been able to put some in the in the boat. And that's short lived, unfortunately. In in May, um, it gets hit hard. Yeah. Right, right. You know, as soon as it opens up. So for the first couple of weeks, everybody's really gung ho, and you'll you'll see you'll see people posting pictures of you know their them and their clients all holding groupers and stuff like that. But sure. that, then that goes away. And I think it gets uh, it gets left alone a little bit after that, and then yeah. we'll start we'll pick away at them if we're out there yellowtail fishing and stuff. We'll start catching them, but gotcha. haven't seen any big ones, you know. And you don't really want to keep those big ones anyways. I mean, those yeah. forty fifty pounders, yep. uh, you just don't want to keep them any, right. you know. Like we used to keep a big one back in the day. Now it's like, ah, oh, let's let that one go. If we can release that fish, let's yeah. let that one go, and then we'll keep we'll keep those twenty pounders that eat better and. You know, we don't have to worry about taking a fish that's full of roe. Right. Because yeah, that, or, or that's what's going on now. Everything's spawning right now. So or, right. or full of worms, George, for that matter. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's right. true, those older Either fish. Way, yeah. yeah. Either way, yeah. you know, I just, it, it, the smaller ones eat better, and you want to keep those fish that are, you know, 12 to 25-pound range. For sure. That's the ones, that's George, the ones I, you want. We're about to late uh, on the break here because we had trouble reaching you, so I'm going to have to say yeah, sorry, have buddy. a great weekend, my real brother. Real quick, real quick. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Just short answer, short answer, George. <sighs> I, I'm sorry, last okay. one. Uh, blackfin tuna. Any fatties? Any big ones? Spotty? Uh, schools? Uh, anything? Heard, How deep were they? Heard of any real big ones, but, I mean, they're, they, are, they are catching them, uh, that 150 to 250 zone. Perfect. Uh, live bait fishing. Cool. Yep. So, all right. There you go. All right. George, yeah. thank you, man. Thank we you. love you, brother. Thanks, Even George. Even if you're late, man. You. You're the man, dude. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Joe, got to insure your boat, man. It's important to get that brand new sailfish you buy from Nautical Ventures insured properly. Or the axle parts they sell. Better get that thing insured. The crown lines they got over there, man. The D'Antonio yachts all insured. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Wendy's, whatever else. Guess who's got that coverage for you, my friend? Tell me. Oh, People's Insurance Underwriters, my brother Jackie and Jose DeBasa got ah. it going on, dude. I've turned them on to like five or six of my last boat sales, and all my clients have said, yeah, Eric, their prices are the best, their policies are the best, the coverage is the best. We showed them on your phone one time yep. how easy it is to go to Very uh, happyboating.com. Yep. Get a quote right there online. You can't ask for anything easier than... Having them, you know, come by your house, which they have done before, I might add. Yeah, you know that's that's what's great about these these family run businesses. You know, like yeah. they just they're so personable. They really are. And and to me, that's kind of what it's all about, right? Yeah. Your customer service and yep. all that. Yep. So if you want great customer service and and you want that kind of service that you were just talking about, yep. give them a call. And now it's uh, Captain. Jose de Bossa got his official captain's license, nice. so he's, he dives, he, he fishes, he practices the sport, the sport he sells, yeah. insurance too on his boats. So, so he knows the business. So Check he's him out, in man. the club. He's you in the club, baby. Mean? The happyboating.com got a quote today. Take a break. Come back with Norm Beckoff, and the show is rolling, baby, at Fox Sports 940. Live! South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-stroke's 4.6-liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water, the 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with 
with the power of enzymes and maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. This is Sean Dunn from J.R. Dunn Jewelers. And I'm... All right, gentlemen, got some time if you want to say good morning to our friends and family. Yeah, our good friend, uh, my nemesis, Richard Hector, checked in. <laughs> he hasn't picked on me this morning and said something like, uh, Eric, you're looking old or, you know, uh, your car sucks. Because you passed the test. <laughs> he hasn't, hasn't really dissed me this because morning. Because you've passed the test. So I, I got into the Richard Hector circle, huh? He officially likes you. If you can get beyond that... Oh, so if I took it personally and came back with... Oh, a, he'd it's be set. like, oh, I don't want to... He go like what a, a what baby. a yeah. It's that New York or New Jersey thing, you know. He go what a rhymes with wussy. Yeah, yeah, or pretty much. another word, but I can't say it. <laughs> Richard Hector, how you doing, baby? We're doing great over here in lovely, sunny South Florida. Oh, he wishes he was here. Is he man. back up in Jersey? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got a crib. He's got a freaking condo down here, man. Right? No, I yeah. No, he's he would be here. He would live here if he could. Really. But, oh, yeah, he still loves Still got his work to do? He's still working hard? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. he, he going to retire one of these days? Well, that's what he's in the process of oh, selling his... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Selling the biz? Yeah. I can't so, get too deep into it, but... Okay. He's making a transition, basically. Yeah. Okay, cool, man. So... He's... Uh, how old's your dad? He is 64. 64. So he's two below me. Yeah. About that what? time. I'm 66. He's 64. Oh, Okay. I didn't know that. Don't you dare even go. I didn't don't you, know. I'm, don't I'm, you allude that I'm older than 66, I'm just Joe. saying I didn't know that. I didn't say anything else. You gave me the eyeball, man. What? You always, what you, are you talking about? Your face gives it away. No. What do you mean? You looked at me with this cockeyed face like 66. I know you guys like, like 90. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Like you allude that I'm like Stevie Wonder or something. You know? like You are half the time. You spilled coffee on your shirt there, That's Stevie. true. Yeah. Waking up to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show with expert troller Eric Brandon. Here comes the king of hits. Plus extreme angler Joe Hector. This is more than we bargained for. Powered by Mercury Marine. And brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk to fellow fishing fans, call 866-801-0940 or send us a message on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Just so you know, man, Richard Hector is 66 Yo, years old. Dad. He corrected you, you knucklehead, okay? It's Dad. We're the you're, same you're, age. You're too honest. I was trying to... No, you can't cover your ass like that, okay? You blew man. it. I don't even know your dad's own age, man. What are you talking to me about? You're schooling me on stuff, pal. Man. Anyway, Norm Beckoff doesn't hear our BS. He wants to go on the radio and talk some fish. So yeah. shall we bring him on? Is he cranky? He's a little cranky this morning. Oh, boy. Hey, what's up, Norm? Oh, We're doing this thing, man. We're doing it. We're doing it. i never cranky. <laughs> <laughs> you? Never cranky. Okay. Never. Yeah, okay. So, never. So don't piss me off. <laughs> There's, there he is. I submit I love, man. Norm, how's, how's the week been for you, man? What's going on, dude? Uh, it's been spotty here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that it's red hot. Uh, there's a few mahi-mahis offshore. You really got to... Uh, it's kind of like a low-scoring football game in Broward County. You got to take advantage 
of your opportunities when they arise because you won't get many. Yeah. Uh, Dolphins. Dolphins. Not so I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> uh, to a, anyway, go ahead. Sorry, Norm. Yeah. There's, 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 so there's been uh, there's been a few my mys. The stale fish are still pretty strong. Uh, Mike Muldoon and uh, Captain JT uh, uh, on Good Hit Sport Fishing have been at it pretty good, and they've been catching them really good. Uh, the bottom fishing has really been the star. Uh, Captain Vinny Sachs on YB Normal had a really nice catch of yellowtail snappers mm-hmm. and uh, golden tile fish the other day. Um, uh, Captain Dave on the uh, on SoFlo Sport Fishing caught a black grouper on the troll on the planer. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've done yep. it with a bouncer yeah. on bouncer's boat before. We caught a uh, grouper that way. A couple, Jim. didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, pulling plugs on a planer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So it can be done, and there's a few groupers around. Not not a whole lot been. I'm not. I haven't seen a whole lot being caught. Uh, smattering of Amico jacks. Uh, you know, uh, other uh, you know other other bottom snappers and stuff like that. But right. it's it's not been red hot here this week. A few black fins. The kingfish bite has probably been pretty. It's been pretty steady as far as. Uh, you know, just if you want to stay in on the reef and not run offshore, mm-hmm, that's, right. that's your best bet. Uh, so they're biting pretty good. And that's that's really about the tail of the tape here in Broward. Any size? Those nice are short and sweet, yeah. Any size to the mahi? Uh, a few. Every, it, most of them are, the, the micro dolphin are really starting to show up. So, uh, you know, you have to kind of pick through those if you get a school of them up behind the boat. Right. Uh, I would run away from those if you could, because it's just you're just wasting your time. Yeah, uh, you know, there's there's been a few bigger fish being caught, but not too many. Gotcha. Well, Norm, yeah. you can take a tip from me, my friend. If you want to spend hours and hours and hours of total absolute boredom, yeah. uh, go down, drop down for some swordfish and have a real fine fun day there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's gonna be there's gonna be people doing that. Uh, a boat I know yeah. went offshore the other day and fought a, but an estimated 300 pound swordfish oh. for three hours and lost them at the boat. Oh, God, God, I've seen it happen so many times with my even my son. Oh. Did they, man? Yeah. You're fighting that sucker for three hours and he was sweating like a bear. The fish breaches Joe, shakes his head, and that hook just went flying out of his face, that, man. That is so hard to get over. God, and he handled like a champ. Yeah. 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 Well, as we always say, the fish sometimes got to win, Joe. You know what I mean? They, yeah, exactly, sometimes right? they win, man. That's, That's the way it goes. Just, yeah. All right, Normal. Thanks very much, man. How's the finest kind doing? That bad boy, sweet. We talked about last night. Uh, he wants to take us all fishing. I've not fished on Norm's boat. Norm put it out there for us to go take a day on his, uh, yeah. his beautiful boat. So. Yeah. Let's cool. do it. Let's do it. We'll set it up. Yeah, we got to do it sometime, guys. Yeah. All right, Norm. Well, thank you, brother, man. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Appreciate Norm. It. All right, guys. Have a nice. And, Norm, happy Mother's Day to you, buddy. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, was that an insult? <laughs> no, just being genuinely nice. That's all. I don't think so. Right. All right, so we've got a little break. It's coming up here. We have a great to duo next with uh, Jen with the forecast. The Captain Deb Day who's got a whole lot to say. Ooh. And a very neat Nautical Ventures toy chest thing to look at this weekend, which I find to be just really cool, and even the boss over there got a big award because of this toy, I might add. Awesome. So we'll check it out. Come back to you, man. 727 Fox Sports 940. Live! Bang. Want to win a thousand bucks? Be ready to spring into... I can't wait to see this toy. This thing looks like it's going to be a super, super cool toy. I sent you two vids, the, the second yeah, one. Yeah, I saw. Well, I'm going to mix both of them, because the, the one and the second one's short. Yeah, so uh, that was a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. shorter was better on these videos for you. Huh? Yeah, just the, there's some talking in the in the first one, but there's some longer, better footage on it. So yeah, okay, cool. All right, let's join your commercials in progress. Oh yeah, reeling in a good catch. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Teaching the kids to swim in the lake, then pushing them on a rope swing over the creek, and watching the sunset with the family out on the boat in our life jackets, of course. Discover the joy of being on the water safely. Life jackets save lives. Wear it, Florida. This message is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Visit myfwc.com for tips on how to keep you and your family safe on the water.
Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. I'll avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coatings and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Who's the big winner? Everybody loses. You win some, you lose some. All right, uh, Joe and Eric, you got a little bit of time here. If you want to say hello to anybody, uh, you right. missed it in the 7 o'clock break, by the way, Joe. Uh, Eric was fumigating the yard by the lake on camera what? at 7. Oh, yeah. What? Yes. What um, kind of compromising crap you kiss me in now, pal? <laughs> you just got, you'll be dying when you see it. You are such a snake bomb, man. Dude, there's cameras God. everywhere, man. You should know that. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Oh, boy. Hey, did you see the new Summer Slam shirt? Oh, yeah, man. I did. I did. It's bad to the bone, right? I'll tell you one thing. Your wifey is putting out some good stuff. I saw it on the uh, Nautical Ventures uh, email. She put that out and showed yeah, a man. picture of that bad boy. Look at that. It's badass, dude, yeah. I love the uh, the Blackfin, man. Every one of your shirts is badass, man. You have some really cool graphics on Thank those, you. man. Those are really cool. Got to represent. Oh, yeah. Why do, you, why do you have to make them in white, though? Because that's obviously not a good color for you. Oh, uh, when you're outside, the white's are kind of a good color to have. Oh. For the heat purposes, <laughs> yeah, man. Especially in the summer. <laughs> you know, we did uh, actually like a light teal one one time. He they didn't. He they didn't do well. some teal. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. That's, that sounds very. Some, uh, I like teal. That's very special. <laughs> Did well, I think if the teal, aqua and teal, that would be the dolphins' uh, colors. Would no it? one really wants to. Yeah. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep well last night. Because lately I've been losing sleep. Don't you go to sleep? I can't sleep at night. It's hard to sleep.
to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Papano Ford and Papano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. <laughs> Why does he play that song before Jennifer Grey Warren comes on, The Crazy Train? I, 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 weather, I, weather, weather, I. Oh, for you to do your Aussie impression, that's why I got I, weather, I. I. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, right. Weather, 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 Eric, weather, yeah. Maybe Jen. you should play like Afternoon Delight by Starland Vocal Band or something a little more up-tempo. Afternoon you know I mean? Are you Delight? serious? Are you okay. serious? Oh, really? I don't Did think she really would like that. Did you really just say that? How about Season of the Sun by Terry Jacks? Oh, my We had fun. God. We had that fun. That is the saddest song in the world. The da, da, de. Wow. Why don't we ask her? I was ask her, man. Let's hey, do it. Jen, good morning to you. Good morning. How's it going? Hi, Jen. You want to hear some like really nice classic hit with like some sun and the music, like Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles or Ozzy Osbourne into your lovely report. I'm not sure what you like better. Ozzy. I like a little bright and sunny something. Ah, yeah, Joe. We're going back to Here Comes the Sun next Saturday. Why don't we say Saturday, the okay? other song you said? Um, Terry Jacks, Season of the Sun or uh, Afternoon Delight by Starlight Vocal Band. You don't like that one, do you? Yes, you Afternoon uh, delight. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you know what the story is of afternoon I, delight? We don't have, we, the show's got a compressed amount of time here, okay? Let's let Jen do some weather for us, shall we? <laughs> Jen, we're in a beautiful morning over here, beautiful skies. There's a little breeze going. It's <laughs> nice, I think, for a while, right? Maybe? Maybe. I mean, you have a chance for showers today. It is going to be breezy, uh, mostly sunny with a high near 88. South, southwest winds, 10 to 20 knots. Gusts around 25. Seas. Around two feet, intercoastal waters, a moderate chop. Uh, for that. tomorrow, 30% chance of showers, mainly uh, in the early afternoon, mostly sunny, high near 88. Okay. Southwest winds, 5 to 15 knots, gusts around 25. Seas around Ooh. two feet, okay. intercoastal waters, a light chop. In the Keys today, south southwest winds, 10 to 15. Uh, seas around one foot, building to two in the afternoon, near shore waters, a light to moderate chop. Uh, isolated showers and storms. Uh, tomorrow, west winds around 10 to 15 knots. Uh, seas 1 to 2 feet. Near shore waters, a light to moderate chop. And in Florida Bay today, south to southwest winds, 10 to 15 knots. Uh, increasing a little bit in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Bay waters, a light to moderate chop. And then for tomorrow, west winds 10 to 15. Bay waters, a light to moderate chop. Becoming choppy. Isolated showers and storms. Oh, it's not too shabby, I think, Joe. Is it, right. it going to cool, cool off a little bit with oh, that west wind? Hell no. Uh, let me look and see. Oh. Put me on the spot here. You put her on a spot, um, Joe. Thanks, man. Hey, it's a legitimate <laughs> question. <laughs> no, I, a front did come through. I just don't know how it is coming through. I don't know how much it's cooling you off. Uh, Actually, it will cool off a little bit. Oh! All right, so you're, you're going to be right. the 90 tomorrow, and oh, then you cool drop down Rachel? to the low 80s by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. <laughs> oh. Jen, spot on as always. Thank you. How's Cooper Caden doing up there in Atlanta? Everybody doing They're good? They're great. Yeah. They're great. Kids yeah. are great. All right, well, listen, we have summertime coming up, and uh, I'm sure they're all ready to get out of school and go play with Mama. Bring them down. It's all, exactly. fish. It's, it's all fish together. Bring the hubby. Just come on down and fish with us, Jen, please, if you would. <laughs> I, I know. I will. I, I will. I I got, the perfect boat, perfect boat to fish on is when Deb Deo starts chartering that brand-new boat she's got in uh, Key Largo, who follows you right now. So we'll do a big trip on that big boat. Would hold all of us, man. Let's do it. I'll bring Mia. Let's do yeah. it. Ready. Right. Thank you, Jen. Love you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks Jen. Thanks. All right, Captain Dale. I bet you're happy. Hey. Afternoon delight. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling better already, man. Let's do the show all over again. That was great, that man. That was great. After we did it together. How do you, that song is before your day, man. Well, I I watched Anchorman. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Deb Dale and the Keys. How about a little yeehaw, baby? Captain Dale. Yeehaw, boys. How's it going? <laughs> it's always great when you're on the radio, Deb. We're doing fine, kiddo. How you doing? 
I am absolutely wonderful. First off, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, especially my mom. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, and uh, it's a it's just a beautiful day today. Absolutely gorgeous. And if you're not on the water, you should be. I'm getting ready to leave myself. So, exactly, just absolutely wonderful today. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, Deb. You've got everybody who invited themselves on your brand new boat. Uh, we've all decided we're just bringing the whole crew down there. Joe, <laughs> me, Steve, and Jake Ray, Jennifer Ray Warren, or two kids. Mia. Uh, Mia. We're, we're, I'm bringing my two boys. you got like a crew of like 15. Well, she's got a massive boat that can handle it easily, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As long, as long as we do a private thing, we're good. But other than that, if it's a regular charter, I can only take six people. But, of course, we're going to private it out and yeah. we're going to go catch fish. This Absolutely. is going to be one fun, on. <laughs> one fun private crew. Think about that gathering, Joe. Of, uh, Interesting. All hey, those hey, we hey, mentioned, okay? Quick question. Hey, how, how does that work, uh, uh, Captain Deb, as far as a private? And who, who says when you have to have a, a, a maximum of six on a regular charter? How does that work? So if it is a paying customer, a paying charter customer, um, most charter licenses, um, if you are non-certified um, by the Coast Guard or non-inspected by the Coast Guard's boat, you can only carry up to six passengers. Um, there is one boat in the Florida Keys that is not a party or not a fishing party boat that can carry more than six as a private charter, and that's that's right out of Bud and Mary's Marina. Right. So there's there's only one or two around that do private charters, but as most charter captains here, no matter how big the boat is, if they're not Coast Guard inspected, we can only haul six people at a time. Ah, okay. Oh. Well, just make sure that, that trip. That's a good we question, all, Steve. We, that, that, yeah, it's a great question. Uh, make sure when you bring that crew, Joe, uh, we have uh, plenty of alcohol because we're going to need it with all of us together. <laughs> After. Oh, I got a really, really nice galley. I was hoping to be back in Key Largo. I was hoping to be back with the boat in Key Largo this weekend, but. Uh, we did. We were getting ready to go on sea trial, and uh, we fired up starboard motor, and there was a clicking sound in one of those Detroits. So I didn't really like that. So uh, I called in a, a, a mechanic. So we're waiting on just a little bit of parts, and then we should be on our way probably um, Monday or Tuesday back up here. So we're we're again another week behind due to some motor things, but we are we're good to go. Everything else is the generator, the air conditioner, everything. So it's just a, a check off process and. And and I'm so excited. I just can't. I can't keep. But I can't stay down there because I'm waiting on parts. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm out on my skiff today. Yeah. And uh, down here in Key Largo, we've got uh, the Nick Sheehan uh, Dolphin Tournament, Dolphin Rodeo going on. So okay. a lot of people out there dolphin fishing today. Um, and I do want to say I want to give a shout out to uh, one of my really good buddies, Captain James Mullen, mm -hmm. um, out of um, Tunnel Vision Sport Fishing out of Robbie's Marina. Put a nickel on the deck meaning that he caught a 515 pound swordfish that oh, he's been after man. so i am super excited and congratulations out to him wow they call that a, that's a new a new term a new term, new term. term. Nickel on the deck huh? nickel on the deck so if you yeah. if you have a dime on a deck you've got a thousand pounder haven't you right so a nickel is a 500 pound swordfish and if you listen to uh mr jagger um a, a, a guy that we listen to um on the radio um, he talks about it. It's called bust a nickel, and it means bust a 500-pound swordfish. So James Mullen did it, and uh, I'm nice. proud of him and just want to give a shout-out for him. So what happens if you get a 50, 50 cent on the deck? A 50 cent? 50 cent, baby. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what 50 cent is. That's a rapper, but anyway, Deb. Uh, Fish-wise, that are the keys. Uh, good news. I mean, George Clark said some good stuff going through, but Mahi were showing up uh, in some bigger numbers and stuff. What are you seeing out there? Yeah, there's fish coming through. Um, absolutely. Um, I've watched a lot of these charter captains, and I'm, I'm itching to get out there. I really want to want to go fishing today. And, and, and I was supposed to fish this Nick Sheehan tournament on the Blue Water Girl, but it didn't happen. But anyway, yeah, there is um, lots of fish out. We've seen a lot of black groupers being caught. Um, and just a lot of fish and of course it's 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 may so everything's everything's spawning everything's breeding and it's 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 chaos out there so yeah. it's my favorite time of the year um big slammers make sure you check those birds make sure you follow out and um your afternoon bite right now this early in the season is going to be better than your morning bite Again, I'm yeah, uh, afternoon bite. <laughs> da, 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 da. I, mean, I mean, afternoon delight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Another song, too. How cool is that, man? Of course. How about that? Yeah. Afternoon delight. Da, da, da. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you, ready? Everyone together now? 
afternoon delight. Bang. Yeah, we got some kind of a show going on today, man. That's great. Half, half and say no. (laughs) Deb, have a lovely weekend in the Keys. We love you to death, and hopefully we'll see that beautiful brand new baby you got real soon, man. Thanks, Captain Deb. Oh, absolutely. Y'all have a great day. And again, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. Go catch you a fish. You Thank got you. it. Go catch you a fish. Yeah. That's what a good advice or Joe. Go catch mm-hmm. you a fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is Mother's Day weekend. And I can't think of a better place to shop for some fun toys than Nautical Ventures. They got so many cool things for mom out there, man. Oh, yeah. SUPs. And you see the kayak selections, Joe. You know them like nobody else over yeah. there at Nautical Ventures, man. You they got everything. All the time, man. UFOs. You know, <laughs> yeah. and you get a- <laughs> hey, who, know, awesome who knows what Roger brings in Half there. the stuff he buys, though, could be from a freaking Seriously, alien, man. But it's we've got a really stuff. super cool toy coming up next that, after this break. I think Mom would love this bad boy. Everyone is going to love this toy. Yeah. Take a little break. about Yes, Joe? Would you guys be surprised if Roger had like his an underground facility under Nautical Ventures <laughs> that was like a, you know like an Area 51 with yeah. all of his toys? No, I wouldn't be surprised, right, though. Right, exactly. Got these I little, wouldn't. Little creatures down there developing all his new... Yeah, seriously. Yeah, like, what is this? thing have like a laser beam coming out of it or some kind of a damn thing. You know? Thunderstorms hovering Thund- above like nautical. You're getting way out created. there, Joe. You're getting way out there, buddy. Woo. Take a little break and back with a toy chest to wrap this baby up 744 at Fox Sports 940. Live! <laughs> Need to get out on the water? No further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seats, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk-Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-stroke 4.6-liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water, the 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries. The sound of confidence. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. 
people's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Call me, Mark Anajar, at the law offices of Anajar and Levine. Last chance to say good morning to our Facebook friends and family. All righty, I'm just going over some notes to make sure I have the uh, toy right. But we've got uh, Dagan Alexander says, good morning. Richard Hector and I are going over the age thing, but by the fact it's only a number. Thank you, Richard. You agree with me? <laughs> okay. Ozzy, wait, Ozzy Ochoa said he spotted the Paku yesterday. What? what? Dude, no kidding. Well, tell me what spot of the lake there is. They used to be off my balcony. They, they left me like years ago. Why did they leave you? Well, actually, when I caught when I pissed them off, man, and the yeah, whole pack left. They're gone. They yeah. got jacked off, pissed off, and left, man. Yeah. Yeah. Afternoon delight. That's songs in my head now. A- I know. A- afternoon delight. Dee. So should we um should we say it now? Tell people about the leaderboard that we're gonna do on our Facebook group. We can do it. I think after we do the toy thing. Don't don't eat my keys, Penny. Hold on, baby. Hang, hang on. Watch out. Watch the clock. Hang on, girl. She's going to feisty on me, Steve. Uh-oh. She's getting a little feisty. Come on, baby. She's got, do you want some of that angry 7-Eleven coffee that you got? <laughs> <laughs> I think she had some is what happened, man. Oh, and boy. By the way, just, so you, say. just so you know, the fans are off today. We've got a major fly invasion out here, bro. The fans are, fans are on, I think. No, they're off. They've been off. They yeah. were on when I... One is on. One is off. Eric's is off. He's oh, you're shutting mine off. Thank you, no, Steve. No, we didn't. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got flies everywhere, man. All right. I don't know what even, happened there. Even on my fly. <laughs> Afternoon delight. I can't get it out of my head. Da 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 da. Oh boy. One of those one hit wonders. You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly. Fisherman Show. Always saving the best for last. Time for the Nautical Ventures toy chest to open up. Let's do it. J. Gray, crank that bad boy open, my brother. Hear that creak? All right. Mother's Day weekend, Joe. What a great gift for mom. Yeah. We've talked about this product before. The Flight Board E-Foil. That thing zips along with a handheld controller. You'll see the video rolling real soon here, but this thing is so much fun. You're above the water. Zip it along. At like uh, 30 knots, I might add. Woo. And now we have the Flight Board 2, Joe. Let's look at this. That's come out and replaced it with just more options, I might add. A better battery for longer distances, I might add. A longer charging and hold time. More speed. But this thing is just really neat. And it, by the way, anybody can do this on their first try. Right. It's just that simple. You get on the board and you follow the manuals and you hit the engagement uh, controller and you're up and flying over the water. Think how neat that is, man. That Hi, is I'm great. David Trewan, and welcome. To- and this is really cool. Got a background uh, uh, narration over there. But the uh, Flightboard eFoil gives you the sensation of flying over the water. Flightboard uh, carves like a snowboard in fresh powder. But with the freedom of riding anywhere, anytime without wind waves, it's fast, quiet, and emission free. They've got this great, powerful, perfo- uh, per- I blew it. I knew I blew it. Powerful <laughs> propulsion, I might add. A new upgraded motor, I'm at. It's what I'm trying to say here. Pretty much, you got various board options, Joe. Yes. Uh, the flight cell battery has been redone, as we mentioned before, uh, thirty knots, and this is developed in Australia. So the Australian mates have got this thing down to a science, oh. baby. So you know they get some serious waves over there. These guys actually take these flight boards, man, and they surf down these waves on that hydrofoil. Down the waves. Jeez, it's just the man. neatest thing in the it's world. It's electric. It's quiet. It's super badass. Oh, my gosh. So, I would love to go on this thing. Yeah, so that was my question was yeah. how do these work in choppy conditions? If you see the video, man, if you go on YouTube and check out some of the yeah. videos, man, these guys are actually surfing down, you know, monster waves like on a surfboard. But right. they're doing it on, on the, the board. 
and fly it down. Yeah, you can man. surf waves with it or go out in calm waters and enjoy it both ways. So yeah. it's Which, awesome. to me, I'd love to have it like a Biscayne Bay, cruising along, you know, looking at some of the shallow water life. Maybe a yeah. bonefish goes by, whatever else. Yeah. So a very cool toy, I might add. Nautical Venture says that for Bob. And by the way, props to Roger Moore. i got to give him some props here. Uh, he got an award yesterday, by the way. The folks flew in from Australia, the owners of the company, All right. and uh, presented Roger Moore with an award for being the biggest dealer. They sold over 200 flight boards have another 200 on order, okay? Mm-hmm. So they are the number one dealer. Roger got the International Dealer of the Year Award. Nice. So props to 007, yeah, baby. Yeah, good job, Captain Roger. Good stuff. So the flight board is our big toy, and we love it. Love to have it in demo and Stephen J. Gray's uh, green pot out here would be kind of fun, would it? I want to try it. The green schmeg. Oh, well, we got to try that, man. Yeah. Imagine you and I, Stephen, on a flight board out there oh, having a three-man race. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, yeah, I'd be surprised to be on land pretty quick. I, yeah, I, I don't think Eric would even be able to get on it. Okay? Well, <laughs> when you break up the fence, Stephen, they have replacement fence for it. Okay, just so you know when you I'm not going to break it. Okay. I'm not going to break it. But, but I mean, when you fall off boats that are on shore, you know, I... <laughs> that's my problem, and I'll stick with it. Okay. Okay. Bell? All right. Here we go, Joe. I know we have the makings of your next tournament. Uh, you plan already way out in advance, don't you, for these things, right? Oh, yeah. You've yeah. got something going on. I saw your new design shirt. Yes, sir. Which so from SA, right? Yeah, we have looks the badass. Summer Slam coming up June 4th. That's right around a bend, by the way. Dude, it's like a, less, a little less than a month. And yeah. we've got the kickoff party at Brewers Room in Pompano, and that's going to be June 2nd. That's a Thursday night. And, yeah, so we're really excited. If you want information on that, just go to ExtremeKayakFishing.com. Yep. Or you can find us on, back to Instagram, yep. at Extreme Kayak Fishing or Facebook, Extreme Kayak Fishing, Inc. Thank you, Joe. Clock says we got to rock. Eric's going to kick my butt if I don't get out of here. Let's so rock. Thanks for a great show, hey, my friends. Great, show, great. Buddy. Thank you, Eric, back in the studio. Thank you very much. Sports Talk all day, baby. Coming up next at Fox Sports 940. Live. Boom.